Do you want to maximize your mind, body, and emotional potential for your sport, well-being, and fitness level? Maybe you are a weekend warrior or fitness enthusiast wanting to improve your fitness level and overall well-being. Whatever the goal, yin yoga for sports is for you. What I'm about to show you is what many fitness experts won't tell you or don't know. You need to exercise your deep connective tissues with traction, twisting, stretching, compressing, but more importantly, learn how to quiet and focus the mind at the same time for mental, physical, and emotional well-being and laser focus. It is this simple. Here's the garden hose. Enjoy. Hey there folks, my name is Dale Tranholm and welcome to the garden hose. Now I'm going to use this garden hose as an analogy of our body, as an analogy of our blood flow and energy flow. The meridian lines, the natty channels, the, the connective tissue. Now when we exercise, like uh, yoga, like running, playing hockey, any kind of physical activity, we're increasing the heart rate, we are increasing the blood flow and we are increasing the energy flow which in turn with the blood flow we're bringing the nutrients and um, oxygen and helping them release toxins but over time through sports through age uh, through injuries we develop scar tissues we develop emotional issues in, uh, in our tissues um, our ligaments and our tendons begin to shrink and we begin to lose range of motion and energy level. Now with this garden hose just imagine that this garden hose is the blood flow and the energy flow where the water is flowing through our body. Now when I turn this hose on this water is going to flow through the hose freely. Nothing's blocking it. Now over time if, when this hose is turned off and it's on the ground say for a couple of years it begins to get mud and sludge and everything in it. So when I come back to the hose in order to get the sludge and crud out of the hose I gotta bend it, I gotta twist it in all different uh, directions to loosen up the sludge. And then I gotta turn the hose on and as I'm twisting and bending and stuff the eventually hopefully I begin to get all the blockages out of the hose. So it works the same way with our body. Over time like I said we develop issues in our tissues, develop blockages, um, our ligaments and our uh, tendons shrink. Our fascia gets interwoven and gets all entangled. In all, the deep, deeper connected tissue is being affected because of all the physical activity that we're doing. So with yin yoga for sports, we are bending and twisting, helping to remove all the blockages so our blood flow and energy flow can flow, flow freely. Ultimately, uh, helping our mental well-being, our physical well-being, and our emotional well-being. And <clears throat> when this hose flows freely, like our body and our blood flow and our water flow, it's going to help our immune system and everything is going to work that much better. It's going to improve our sport, it's going to improve our health and well-being, and it's going to improve, uh, improve our mental state. So this is one aspect that I think is a missing link for people's health and well-being. Bending and twisting and working that deeper connective tissue to remove all the blockages so the energy flow and the blood flow can flow freely. So take a look at my website, take a look at Yin Yoga for Sports, uh, take a look at my background and uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye for now.